E what's up budget billers? My name is Trail, better known as Budget Bill, and this is your fourth stimulus check update and stimulus package update for Sunday, July the 11th. Hello everyone and happy new week. I have some exciting news for you today regarding social security. That could mean big changes are about to happen. You probably have heard of this guy before, Andrew Saul. He has been the social security commissioner since 2019. Well, he was just Fired on Friday. You're fired. Believe me. By President Biden. Now, before you take offense to this, Biden asked him to resign so that it would look better on his resume, but Andrew refused to do so. And then President Biden fired him. What does this mean for Social Security? Well, this could bring some big changes coming very soon. Also, President Biden just canceled more student loan debt for Americans. This is about the fourth or fifth time that he has done this since taking office. This will affect 1,800 students as well as Democrats are also calling on Biden to pause more student loan payments until the pandemic is officially over. And last but not least, guys, hey, we finally have a few daily news bites to share with you today. Now, those are just some of the topics that we are going to cover today. But if this is your first time to the channel, hey, welcome and glad to have you. On this channel, we talk about finance, real estate, credit cards, Bitcoin and crypto, and stimulus update news. So if you're interested in any of those, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me. That way you can join our community. Also, if you end up liking the content in this video or even laughing at one of my jokes, then be sure to like this video. Other than that, guys, hey, Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay guys, Andrew Saul, the commissioner of the Social Security program. He was fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. Simple as that guys, fired. Now, Andrew is an important figure as he is one of the remaining appointees from the Donald Trump administration. The White House said that he was fired after refusing to request for his resignation, but he wasn't the only one. The Biden administration also asked the Social Security deputy, David Black, to resign as well, and he complied with the request, but Andrew, Nah, he refused to resign and stated that he ain't going nowhere. And he actually questioned the legality of Biden's decision to fire him. He said, I consider myself the term protected commissioner of Social Security. So why was he fired, guys? Well, apparently Andrew Saul had politicized the Social Security Disability Benefits, or SSDI. He ended up terminating the agency's telework policy that was utilized by 25% of the workforce. There were some previous issues developed with the head of the Social Security Administration, and he refused to repair those relationships. He also had issues with the workplace safety planning, reduced protections for benefits, appeals hearing, and he took other actions that ran contrary to the mission of the agency and President Biden's agenda. Saul said that he plans on still showing up to work on Monday morning. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I was fired in the past, no way would I show up the next day thinking that I still had a job. That is definitely a no-no. Now, we did hear from Bill Pascrell where he said in a statement or a tweet that the Social Security head can be fired because he was trying to destroy Social Security. And that's a good enough cause. He said that if Saul shows up on Monday, escort his butt off the premises. Now, the interesting part about Saul is that he was accused of preventing millions of benefit recipients from receiving their $1,400 stimulus check. Now, y'all remember that when we had people complaining in the comments section about still not receiving their stimulus checks while everyone else was, well, apparently he was blamed for the delayed checks being sent out. Elizabeth Warren sent out a tweet and said that, good riddance, Andrew Saul and David Black played key roles in Donald Trump's failed plans to dismantle Social Security. We need Social Security leaders who will protect and expand Social Security, not destroy it. So the details are clear that Andrew Saul was actively destroying the program instead of improving it, which was his job. And for that, he was fired. You're fired. 
Now, what does this mean for Social Security recipients? Well, this is some positive news, guys. If you felt like nothing has been done and no improvements over the last few years have been done for Social Security recipients, well, we now know why. And that person has been replaced with hopefully someone that will fight for the Social Security recipients, as well as fight to improve the program overall. So many recipients have been extremely suffering since the pandemic started, and most of them were suffering prior to the pandemic. 71% of Americans are worried that Social Security will run out of money in their lifetimes. Biden has proposed on several occasions that he wants to increase Social Security by $200 per month, as well as increasing the cost of living adjustment, or COLA, by 125%, which would ultimately bring millions of Americans above their poverty level. So these changes are going to be huge boosts for the Social Security beneficiaries, as well as change in leadership may result in new Social Security reform, and a boost in the Social Security benefits could be coming very soon. This reform would apply to Social Security retirement, disability, SSI, SSDI, survivors, and the SSI program, and changes to the Social Security Administration, or the SSA. Now, since then, Biden has appointed Kilolo Kajakazi to serve as the acting commissioner until he appoints a permanent replacement. She currently serves as deputy commissioner for the retirement and disability policy at the Social Security Administration office. But once Biden appoints a permanent replacement, we could see some hefty changes happening pretty quickly. We will continue to monitor this subject as we have been hoping and looking for these Social Security changes since Biden took office. And this big news could steamroll that to happen very soon. Let me know your thoughts on what you think about all of this down below in the comment section. Now, before we go any further, let's go ahead and hear from our sponsor for today. Are you tired of YouTubers telling you to sign up for Webull to get two free stocks? Do you get frustrated after they tell you that you have to deposit $100 to receive the free stocks? Well, that is no longer the case. I have just partnered with Webull and they have updated their promotion specifically for my viewers. They know that y'all don't have $100 to spare. Hey, are we still trying to figure out how to get the four stimulus check? So they have lowered the bar and now you can get your free stocks after you deposit just $5 or more. I know you got $5 guys. Everyone has $5 to spare, right? And the beauty is you don't have to spend the money after you deposit it. So this is the best offer ever where you can get two free stocks after you deposit just five dollars all you have to do is just go ahead and open up an account using the link down below then you will receive your first stock up to three hundred dollars then after you deposit five dollars or more then you receive your second stock worth up to two thousand dollars this is totally risk-free guys and a great way to receive some free money now this promotion ends on july the 20th so you want to go ahead and make sure that you sign up today link down in the description now in other news, which I think is some pretty good news, the Department of Education has counseled an additional $55.6 million in student loan debt. If you recall, there were tons of victims of college fraud that happened previously, and the Biden administration has been actively trying to make right with those individuals that lost money. Biden has been canceling student loan debt over the course of the last four months as he is committed to standing up for students whose colleges took advantage of them. As far as others with student loan debt, we now have 64 Democrats calling on President Biden to extend student loan payments to be paused. These efforts are being led by Chuck Schumer and Elizabeth Warren. They are calling on Biden to extend a pause on student loan payments and interest so that it won't add to the recovery efforts of the country from the pandemic. Now, the suspension of payments and interest during the pandemic has already provided relief to borrowers and their families during these economic times and public health crisis. The legislators are asking Biden to extend the pause by at least six months until until the end of March of 2022, or at least until the unemployment pandemic levels return back to normal. Biden has not responded to this request as of yet. And now let's quickly go over a few daily news bites that you might have missed. 
California is expected to open school again in the fall. California schools is requiring people to wear masks despite the recent CDC guidelines that were released. They are requiring masks for all students. So even though students and teachers may have been vaccinated, you still have to wear a mask and they still plan on carrying out social distancing. California has been one of the strictest states in regards to the pandemic. Now, Oregon has finally announced the vaccine lottery winner, and it was a college student. The governor of Oregon announced Friday that an Oregon State University student, Chloe Zenda, has won the state's $1 million Take Your Shot lottery. Oregon and a handful of other states are offering cash prizes and college scholarships to residents who encourage them to get vaccinated. When Chloe was presented her $1 million check, she stated that she was absolutely thrilled that more than 2.4 million Oregonians have gotten their first vaccination. Oregon State set a new goal of vaccinations, 80% of adults of color by the end of August, and eventually 80% of all Oregonians who are adults. This is how that we can finally put the pandemic behind us. Anyways, guys, hey, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget that you can get the Amazon Prime membership for 30 days for free if you want to go ahead and try out their services and receive free shipping on your purchases. You can also enjoy the movie selection during these long summer months. And I will tell you, there are long months. Or if you already have the Amazon Prime membership and you are paying the full price, don't forget that if you have an EBT card or you participate in any government assistance programs, you can get the discounted rate of just $5.99 per month. All you have to do is just log in and update your account information that and receive the discounted rate. Okay, guys, this has been another fourth stimulus check update for today. Now, if you enjoyed any of this information or found it to be useful, be sure to hit the like button for me. It definitely helps out a lot, and it also tells YouTube to share this video with others. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button for me so that you can be a part of this community and hit the notification bell to be notified of each new video. Again, as always, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace. Bye.